Star wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. has a chance to win a Super Bowl ring with the Los Angeles Rams, and then he's a free agent. So just for fun, no. <laughs> how do you think OBJ would fit here in Dallas with the Cowboys? I think that, to his great credit, because we've we've taken a lot of pokes at him over the years, mm -hmm. what he's done with the Rams has been fantastic, and I think he's swallowed his ego. Uh, and, and I think he's realized this is this is my real shot and, and my best ever shot and I may never ever get another one <laughs> but um, I don't think that he's reinvented himself I just I don't trust that he's reinvented himself in a long-term way that should all of a sudden make the Cowboys say oh let, let's move out Amari Cooper mm. and let's move in Odell Beckham I don't think he's done that in a way where the Houston Texans can say you know we have Brandon Cooks. Let's Brandon Cooks and Odell. No, I don't think so. Uh, we're in Washington. Hey, we've got Curtis Samuel. That isn't working out very well. No, let's let's fix Curtis Samuel. Uh, hey, in Atlanta, we're we're starving for wide receivers. You're not that starving. I think he has hit a one-time Rams jackpot, oh, wow. and I'm I'm happy for him. But no, I would not bet for the Cowboys or anybody else uh, that there's a second jackpot waiting. Okay, I like that. Speaking of roster moves, the Dallas Cowboys have officially signed a new kicker. Now, Greg Zerline last season missed six field goals, six extra points. How would you rate this move? The big news on where they are with the existing kicker, Greg DeLeg, mm -hmm. is his contract has one more year on it, $2 million, and it's escapable. Yeah. If we understand it properly, you can cut him and not pay the penalty. Voila! <laughs> there it is. What Bones Fossil uh, is... And Greg is Bones' guy. That, that's, and that's okay, too. Yeah. Uh, they've been together for a long time and, and won a lot of games together. Right. But this past year, they almost lost a lot of games together. Yes. And Bones Fossil has enormous uh, power, mm -hmm. decision-making power in this building. And the Joneses are really good at this, or some might say bad at this. They will give a coaching staff enough rope to get either win, get your guy, or enough rope to hang yourself. <laughs> They need to give Chris Nagar, mm -hmm. former Texas kicker and mostly punter, and then SMU kicker, yeah. and a local kid from Arlington who was an all-state kicker and punter, but, you know, one of the best high school schoolboy kicker and punters ever. They need to give him a legitimate shot. This cannot be just another, oh, we'll just have him around so Greg can rest his leg. The Cowboys can save $2 million yeah. by finding a different guy, and Chris Nagar deserves a chance to be that different guy. We'll see what happens there. Trayvon Diggs and Micah Parsons were major highlights of the Pro Bowl, which I know is your favorite thing in the world. But Micah Parsons' speed, wow, was on full display. How high is Parsons' ceiling? Well, he has uh, he has done something now at the Pro Bowl that has almost never been done, which is defy the rules. Mm -hmm. And to fight gravity <laughs> with such a smile on his face that nobody even gets mad at him. Micah, you're not supposed to tackle anybody anymore in the Pro Bowl. <laughs> and he still kind of did. Yeah. You're not really supposed to strip stack uh, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, but he did it anyway. You're not supposed to win a sprint against wide receivers, but he did it anyway. And as we've said about Micah, and we've had a chance to get to know him a little bit, he, he does his bragging with such charm. Yeah that it's disarming. You you forget that he's even bragging. And then he goes out and backs it up. And yeah. he's so young that you want to give him a, you know, you're like, okay, he's still figuring it out. It's okay, he's confident. It's right. good, he's confident. Right. There's something kind of cuddly about his confidence yeah. uh, until he comes and hits you. Uh, and of course, in the case of uh, the Diggs brothers, uh -huh. uh, First of all, C.D. Lamb got four catches for 41 yards, so so he was a factor uh, in that game to some degree. And even though Trayvon Diggs didn't catch a pass on offense, he still got to line up on offense <laughs> and go against his brother, the wide receiver, lining up on defense. So it was very much uh, a, a Micah takeover in Las Vegas and to some degree a Cowboys takeover as well. Yeah, I love it. So, offensive coordinator Kellen Moore remains a Cowboy after interviewing for a couple head coaching positions. The second half of last season, the offense left a lot to be desired. So what do you think Kellen Moore must focus on improving heading into the new season? I think some Cowboy fans are saying you just can't lose a game like that and end the season and not have somebody's head 
role. And I do understand that sentiment, and the media certainly does that as well. But what if you have a good coaching staff? What if you have a cohesive coaching staff that you believe is good? That you uh, just need to build on. What if Mike McCarthy's good, and, and he is? What if Bones Fossil is good, and he is accomplished? What if Kellen Moore just led the NFL in total offense as a coordinator, which he did? Right. Dan Quinn is everybody's darling. <laughs> Uh, and no, nobody doesn't like Dan Quinn right now, but what if they've assembled a good coaching staff that works well together, that uh, deserves to be recognized for going 12-5, and 5, not just for being 0-1. Obviously, uh, job one for Kellen Moore is you got to make Dak great. Mm -hmm. Their fate is now tied together uh, for this year and maybe beyond that. If Dak is great, it'll help Kellen get a job. If Kellen is great, then Dak is great, then maybe they compete for a Super Bowl. <laughs> but you know, the only change so far in this coaching staff, Adam Henry, the wide receiver coach, who is an Odell Beckham Jr. whisperer, mm -hmm. um, according to the Star-Telegram, was offered the chance to stay. His contract was up. He declined that opportunity. That's You don't hear that very often, the guy saying no to the Cowboys. So they've turned the page to Robert Prince, who was at Boise State as a wide receiver coach when Kellen was there as a player. And Coach Prince has uh, a lot of skins on the wall in the NFL, too. So only minor changes on the coaching staff so far. And Kellen Moore being back here, I think almost everybody inside the building believes is a good thing. A lot of returning energy, as you just mentioned. Basically, the entire coaching staff retained for the next season. I'm curious, what kind of pressure does that add to Mike McCarthy? And is Sean Payton's shadow looming here at the start? Yeah, on the one hand, you're the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys, and you lost in the playoffs, and pressure is almost, like, innate. Yeah, like constant. It's just the way it's going to be. Yeah. Um, maybe the first COVID year it was so fluky, we don't count that. But, but when is there not pressure on the Cowboys coach to succeed? Sure. Now, the pressure from Jerry to have the coach succeed, that didn't always happen in the Jason Garrett era. But in his last two years, yeah. that was a hot seat, even for uh, one of his favorite guys, Jason Garrett. I had a conversation with an assistant coach who was on that last Garrett team, mm -hmm. who said, and, and he said, I'm no expert on this. But we felt in the building, if we didn't make the NFC Championship game, we were going to get fired. Wow. Nobody said it, yeah. but we all just had that feeling. It was kind of in the air. Yeah. And he asks the question, and I don't have the answer. It's worth kicking around. Is there not already enough pressure on the coaching staff, Cowboys or elsewhere, without all but announcing, hey, if you don't do this, this, and this, you're fired? Yeah. And I don't have the right answer for that. Right. Jerry Jones has been managing businesses for 50 years. Yeah. He knows better than we do. But I wonder if the pressure on the Cowboy coaching staff isn't great enough without saying, you don't, you, heads up, Sean Payton's over here. Oh, heads up, Dan Quinn's over there. Oh, heads up. Uh, we can always call the guy that moved from Oklahoma to USC and bring him in here. Oh, We're friends Lincoln with him. Riley. Yeah, so, uh, um, but, but again, in fairness to the idea of Lincoln Riley, for instance, right. that that's always going to exist. Right. The fact that Stephen Jones is friends with Lincoln Riley, uh, and how old is Lincoln Riley? Young. He can't be 40, right? No, he's not 40. Okay, that's going to go on for the next 20 years, that there's going to be something out there, something shadowy, something there's haunting. There's always somebody there to take your role. Right, always. especially when people want to be uh, on the big stage having this role. So if you can somehow be Mike McCarthy and company, just bear down and do your job. Maybe it works out okay. Okay, as the Cowboys now enter off-season, the heat of off-season, what kind of whispers are you hearing here at the Star? The prioritizing of Randy Gregory mm -hmm. uh, is is very much talked about. The getting Dak Prescott to be great is very much talked about. And then the not rebuilding of the offensive line, the reloading of the oh, offensive okay. line. Uh, you, this is a salary cap sport. You can't just tear everything down and cut this guy and trade. Now, you could save $5 million by saying goodbye to Tyron Smith. If he wants to retire, that's an idea. But now you've got, I, in my mind, a gaping hole in the offensive line. So I don't think no, uh, no Tyron makes you better. But they have to wrestle with ways in the offensive line, whether it's moving bodies around or using a premium draft pick to try to take this. What Jerry likes to say is, our offensive line is a strength and we want to make it stronger. If you've got a strength, make, make your strength stronger. And that's probably a business concept from Jerry too. The offensive line for a long time here has been a strength, not this past year. Maybe they should make it stronger. I like that.